All right, we are back with more scam gameplay here at Versus Games. Uh, we have a, a treat for the viewers tonight. We've got the Recto Scam Mirror uh, with a, a Tibalt playmat. Really, really <laughs> ramping it all the way up. Which I love I, it. Quite frankly, I support. Um, Tibalt is back in modern. Um, there are there are variants of oh, the five yes. color deck that are playing the the, the, the flip, the flip Tibalt. The flip bolt. Yeah. Bulky, bulky to bolt. Yeah. Um, yet another way to build the very efficient, nasty five color mana base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when your when your deck is 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 and is already kind of doing whatever unfair, you can kind of just throw whatever in there anywhere. Yeah. yeah. It's the it's the, the the real ham sandwich way of winning. <laughs> um, just put it all in. Yeah. And anything you know. When, when your opponent's just getting drowned in ca uh, card advantage, you, you really can just win with a hand sandwich. Um, yeah, we're uh, looks like we're starting off here. Uh, both players on seven. Um, hopefully, seven. The, mirror, yeah, the mirror is, I think, interesting in terms of both like player skill level and also like deck building anticipation. Um, like I know. Personally, as play. a Merktide player, Start uh, Merktide is very well brief. represented in our in our local scene, mm -hmm. uh, and it is part of the reason why I personally don't play like Blood Moon mainboard, um, because it's very poor in the mirror, which is something I'm expecting. Um, All right, so we have a Grief turn one. Uh, we're gonna have looks like a Dothy Boardwalker, a Grief, a Not Dead After All, or some other spell just like that. Uh, Ragavan and three lands. Uh, notably, Christian does have one mana up, so that he he may use a scam spell to get back the grief. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, take a second one, as game may be over very quickly. Yep. Now Could both a, players, both players have the capability of scamming one another. Right. So Although it it is, uh, there is almost no way that Chris is going to have have it after. Absolutely. Uh, so not, grief yeah. grief is going to be the first take. The second take will be Dothy Voidwalker. Um, I think this makes a lot of sense. Uh, this leaves this leaves Chris with Ragavan, which does not attack well into a four three, mm -mm. Um, and not dead after all, which is a, a dead. Um, after all, after all, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really not a not a good card without a grief or a fury. Um, I mean, it it could uh, a virtual counter spell to yeah. be honest, um, but. Uh, so Christian's going to get aggressive here instead of playing defensive. Now, does um, Christian play... Let's see if he plays uh, another creature to get involved here. Could also be a removal spell for Ragavan. Absolutely. Um, I, I suspect Terminate. Uh, round one, I did get paired against uh, Christian. Um, he was the opponent that uh, <laughs> I, that did multi five and get me um, using a Grief Hand. But... Um, Does play a lot of hammer, which is why you and I both expect that. But um, grief is the the, the deck yeah, of choice. Yeah, here we go with Orcish Bowmaster. Yep. Very clean answer to Ragavan. And notably, did so before Chris had the opportunity to untap and save it with that not dead after all. Yep. Uh, really heads up play from Christian here. Yep. Um, honestly, uh, with with the hand that Christian has had, and as long as we have some heads up plays with no mistakes, I, I imagine that this will be closed up pretty tight mm -hmm. very quickly. Um, an untap from Christian. Still think, three cards in hand. I think at the moment, like uh, we 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 were really lucky one, to have two, three, uh, time four, after the first game. Six. After the first game, to have a uh, scam player in here, yeah, uh, talk about the deck and give some like really good, thoughtful commentary on the deck. Um, I think at the moment, one of their... What was that gentleman's name? It was Brian. Yeah, Brian. He's um, a very, very uh, well-read player. Um, he's another uh, regular of the modern scene in uh, in Orlando. And uh, I've run into him a couple of times. Just, just obviously, like, we have a really, really great community over here, but also just, like, you know, definitely has the capability to, to really talk about the deck at length and... Um, you know, yeah, he the understanding us, is, is next level, really. He gave us some great uh, discussion. I think relevant at the moment is the split between uh, Fatal Push and Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Um, Which is, I mean, very frequent in, in any deck that's running red and black. 
Um, that's that's something that's going to be discussed uh, ad nauseum at uh, in the uh, Jund format. Um, we have a Fable the Mirror Breaker here, hopefully to develop yep. some more card advantage, hopefully give it some board presence. That token gonna is going to get destroyed. Yep. Oof, not looking good. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, the, the split between mm -hmm. push and bolt. It comes to mind here because, um, you know, bolt really cleanly deals with the scammed grief at the mm -hmm. moment, uh, whereas fatal push is, you know, a bit worse. Yeah. Um, uh, looks like blood, de uh, blood moon, ooh. not dead after all, and we have a grief here. Um, and grief gonna is going to be taking go. the grief. Thoughts he's going to get him down to 15. With Chris Bowmasters on the this board, is... it's going to be really tough to pitch both of these essentially dead cards um, because it's going to deal two damage, which will kill. Yeah. yeah. So we, we just see Chris scoop it up. Yeah. Um, uh, something that I think is the, the, the pervasive and really relevant. I mean, we're 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 six minutes into this round, and mm -hmm. and the the most relevant thing is like grief. Just that that scammed grief on turn one really just puts your opponent on the back foot. And and we know that Chris had the opportunity to do the exact same thing in his hand, but because of that that uh, you know that uh, proactiveness of that uh, play. You're, you're just on your back foot the entire time just tr struggling to catch up and that's what grief like that is the deck that is that yeah. is house cam plays I know this is the this is the mirror too um, but I think this this match also really showed uh, play draw dependency in modern yeah um, which, which is I think has gotten better over the years like up until like with all of the the sort of interactivity over time we haven't seen something this proactive uh that punishes die rolls in a long time. Like, yeah. um, uh, sort of off the top of my head, like, you know, we've had, um, like, this honestly just feels like a very, very die roll heavy uh, markup unless, you know, players don't have the nuts. We see this going in a similar way that, like, a, a, a Tron mirror would go. And that's that's just who has Karn first to hit one of your Tron lands. Um I would love to see this this the second game you know be a little bit more sideboard dependent you know get rid of those blood moons get rid of uh, you know some of the thought seasons and stuff. Yep. Um, we're gonna play. I, I want to see some some real limited environment creature math here. Yeah. Yeah. I think the the most fun that I have watching or like playing against this matchup is when you get to play those like really nice grindy mid range mirrors um, where you know they don't have scam on turn one. Absolutely. Maybe they maybe they lead with Ragavan. Um, yeah, I, yeah I a lot of a lot of modern right now. I think as the threats have gotten pushed at lower mana values, like play draw yes. dependency seems to have uh, been exacerbated. And and I think that honestly, as we you know, it's it's obviously like like nothing exists in a vacuum. I think that the the threats becoming more and more um, uh, mana efficient, as well as the the removal, the answers have been have been insanely efficient. We yeah, have we yeah. have we have. Prismatic ending. Five, six mana spells that yeah, are yeah. one mana or zero mana in these cases. And mm -hmm. and so fortunately or unfortunately, the mulligan decisions have become like some of the most important decisions in the format, which is, you know, fundamentally changed kind of the way that the, the format feels, yeah. especially for newer players returning. But when it comes to kind of the archetypes that are still existing, you know, we, we still have, you know, tempo decks in Rhinos, we have control decks in uh, Four Color, we have combo decks in the reanimator style strategies, we have aggro in like Affinity and um, uh, the hammer decks. Um, I think Affinity's fallen off a bit. Uh, yeah, it's now <clears throat> notably another player in, on, uh, in this tournament today who I think is at least 2 1 here. Um, I think he's. I think he's three one. Elliot Gafter is actually playing a uh, a blue green affinity build. I don't oh. know if you've seen this. It's with been popular on, with with up the beanstalk. Yeah, and what that does is um, when you're playing, <laughs> th we're playing thought monitor, oh and you're God, playing yeah. uh, frogmite, and all of the affinity creatures. You're drawing so many cards. Yeah, um, which is quite frankly pretty scary. Um, that looks good. So it looks like strong. Chris is going to keep, and Christian is going to mulligan. Uh, Chris is on the play yeah another thing too with um you know you were just commenting that mulligan decisions have gotten a lot harder absolutely um the current scam is a deck that punishes mulligans absolutely which um, is which is 
why I think a, a, a lot more, even from a from a subconscious and kind of uh, tertiary level of an effect on the format, is that redundancy is the thing that is being more pervasive and relevant. Mm -hmm. That like decks that are running four ups, mm -hmm. decks that are you know like like the Omnath decks, decks that are um, now Merktide is I think getting punished for other reasons, most notably like like Bowmasters. Yep. Um, but decks that have that significant amount of redundancies and card draws, that is going to change and, and what is a mainstay in this format, like we see here, like we have seen all night. Um, and, you know, like it or not, that's kind of where we are right now. Leyline. Right, so we're going to see Leyline of the Void as a pregame action from Christian. This is going to uh, prevent and the scam. avoiding that play, we're going to see Chris... Uh, fetch shock, get a uh, ragavan in play. Hopefully, to start uh, developing a little more advantage here. We'll see if Christian has a removal spell to answer it. Fetch shock kind of tells me that he does. Yeah, ragavan is still an incredibly strong card, especially on the play. Great mana engine, uh, great draw engine in a sense. Especially um, in a mid range mirror. Mm -hmm. I think that that's super relevant, and I yeah. think that. Um, uh, where we've seen uh, Darcy and other uh, the other one mana spells, uh, one mana creature spells, kind of uh, e kind of shift around in the last couple of months. Um, Will be answered by a push. Yep, uh, Ragavan has been uh, especially relevant in the uh, sort of mid range mirrors. Yeah, it has certainly seen you know it's it's gotten more checks and balances lately thanks to Bowmasters, mm -hmm. um, but still an incredibly strong card. Yeah. So we're going to see, see Dothy Dothy Walker. So Graveyard Hate uh, <laughs> on both sides of the field. Yeah, no, no more Graveyards. Grief Pitch. No, we're going to see Grief Pitch. Pitch um, Undying Evil. What's strange about this, what you and I were talking about and hoping that we had like a limited environment where, where creatures are relevant and text is relevant, we're getting that, but through Ooh. the redundancies of... What so take? Fury is Fury? exiled Very here. Good. So if if Chris can untap with Dothy Voidwalker, he's going to get to put Fury on the field. That would be exciting. Um, so that would also encourage Christian to not play a creature here mm -hmm. because it's just going to die to this Fury. Yes. Um, now, what I was saying is that, like, despite all of the game actions that have happened, we've we've because both players have played Leyline effects. He's going to play a creature. We don't have. Uh, like uh, we have a, we have a, a strangely uh, a standard game of magic here. Yeah, these cards are all redundant. They're kind of all doing the same thing. We're gonna cast a fury. Yep. it's gonna answer that. Kill the Voidwalker. We still just kind of have a creature in play. Mm -hmm. uh, we're we're doing less of the sort of nonsense. Here's a Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize. Good old good old mid range staple. Gonna take that other Dothy. No cards in hand, no creatures in play for Christian. We would would, could would see point this out. Go. I think Thought Seize should have come down before tapping the uh, the Dothy Boardwalker because it would have exiled whatever he gets with that Thought Seize. True, but likely inconsequential because there is a three three with double strike in play. Mm -hmm. um, I think Little thanks edges. to this Thought Seize as well, Christian is out of non lands. Does have a Correct. castle lock twain on the field, which is going to help, uh, you know, generate some card advantage. Yeah, unfortunately, that Takanuma is in play and not in hand, which would yes. be able to get something back. Now, it's a bit slow. It is, but it would uh, help. Kind of taking the role of Coligan's command. Oh, is that card still played? The, uh, I know for a fact that Christian does play two in his main. Okay. Um, because I saw them today. Oh, in the main. Uh, yep. Uh, we're gonna so Fury's swing gonna come in for six. six. We're down to eleven. One of my speaking of all these like mid range like fun mid range mirror games, one of my favorite mid range mirrors in the MH two era. Uh, my opponent, I think it came down to like I needed them to not hit anything uh, off the Ragavan. Plays flats and passes. Right, uh, and they hit Coligan's Swing command. for uh, six because a double strike. Yep, yep, yep. Here's a bowmaster. bowmaster. Probably gonna block with that token. Yep. What were we saying? Oh, I was gonna say my opponent once hit in a very crucial moment. Hit Coligan's command with. Ragavan. In a mid mirror. Dope. Disgusting. Yeah, seems <laughs> gross. It was I I couldn't be mad. I I, I was overjoyed for my Easy opponent. block. Yep. Alright. Yeah, there's there's nothing quite like the joy of uh 
in Jund, uh, Bloodbraid into Call Against Command or into Lily. You know, just 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 squeezing the value out of it. Um, obviously, we love that. Um, Christian at ten. We'll see if he can stabilize. I think that a terminate obviously would be super relevant. Your removal spell is crucial now. Yeah. Notably. Chris is playing a lot of these not dead after all type cards, mm -hmm. uh, the scam cards, but because of the ley line of the void, we won't see this happen. We, we won't see those cards uh, kind of be the counter spells that they typically are. Um, and by the counter spells, I mean the the scam spells. The, the, the removal re blanks. Absolutely. They, they blink removal. And because of ley line of the void in place, stopping uh, mm. his opponent's graveyard, we don't have... Uh, that, those cards really are blanks in this uh, at this time, which I think may have been something heads up that these players, uh, if they're knowledgeable enough about the format and kind of how this stuff kind of goes in the mirror match, they may have boarded these out. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Chris, Chris now has his own bowmaster. Um, this Lots is, of damage This here. is a fantastic. Uh, Cake command. This is here it is. Fan. Yeah, uh, because it's gonna help disable this castle lock plane. Okay, come in. A cold command, cold command, command from Christian is going to hit pick up Orcish Bowmaster. Bowmaster and pick up Bowmaster. Um, That's not going to work. Uh, but he's just going to scoop it up. All right. Well, a concession's a concession. All right. Well. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> it's the old It's the old chalice check. You know. Wait, who won? Chris uh, Chris won. Chris won. Oh, Chris yeah. won. Okay. Yeah, Chris yeah, won. yeah. yeah. Yeah, so because there. so because Christian uh, Christian had a leyline of the void in play, mm -hmm. uh, Chris did cast a uh, a not dead after all or, or, or similar effect that would that when that creature would die it would come back, um, but because there was a leyline in play that wouldn't have happened. However, Chris put that card in the stack and Christian scooped it up anyway. Unfortunate. Um, uh, now, for the record, I do think that Christian was uh, would would have been grasping at straws had he yeah. even seen that. So I, I think it may have just been too much anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's the old chalice check, you know. I I I actually have a. I went to up to Washington D.C. Uh, I think it was about a year and a half ago, two years ago now that um, it was the uh, Legacy Pit Open. Mm -hmm. uh, playing, uh, I played Blue Red Delver at the time. This was before uh, Expressive got banned. Is it Expressive that's banned in Legacy? What's the What's the yeah, red card? I think it's banned. In yeah, there's there's a lot, a lot that's banned. But anyway, um, playing Delver. Uh, was having a great time. My opponent, I played against uh, um, just mono, mono Red. Uh, prison or something? Yeah, Mono Red Prison. Just, just Blood Moon me. I, I was able to fetch my island. I was doing okay. Um, hit him down to, I think, like uh, six. Just showed him. He had, a, he had a chalice on one in play. I just showed him two bolts, and he just scooped. I was like, I guess we got there. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, uh, you know, got to gotta, gotta check the chalice. Mm-hmm. Um, so we did not see <laughs> Layla oh, so coming we back. Here we go, from Chris, uh, with a smile. I, I think we did not see Chris <laughs> Good old shock. either player change their sideboards. Yeah, it looks like uh, they just shuffled up immediately. I think one Ragavan. We're yep. gonna see an exactly the yep. same play the other way again. One, uh, one potential interesting interesting line of play here, I think, is um, Thought sees play versus draw post board. Yeah, I think common common mid range knowledge says you board, board out, out Thoughtseize. Thought sees so in the mirror. Absolutely, but. Maybe there's an argument that, you know, with these scam decks, you keep them in if you're on the play. I don't know. Um, I think because of the... It's interesting. Uh, tip, yeah, obviously the, the typical train of thought would say that um, when you're playing mid-range, uh, because both of you will eventually be out of cards in hand and yeah. you draw a thought season, it doesn't do anything. Um, there may be a relevancy there uh, to... Just, just keep some in. Just what? To just kind of punch holes in your opponent's double grief plays? Or? Yeah, that's what I think. I think if you're on, I think there's a there's an argument that if you're on the play, um, it's important to keep thought seizes in because it that's your method of disrupting, you know, the turn one because, grief or fury. So, do you think now this is just maybe maybe philosophical? I don't know if it's. Here. I should say I don't know if it's correct. Yeah. But so, so I think I think. I think philosophically, I think there's a, there's a way for us to look at this, and that's, do we think that, ooh, push on his Ragavan, get in, could be good. Um, land relevant. Um, 
So the philosophy behind that is like, do we think that grief taking a component of your opponent's hand has vampired the entire methodology of the deck so much so that that breaks down our view of the sideburn strategy in a mid-range matchup like this? I think Fury could. I think um, assuming that assuming that you're on a build, uh, no, I mean Fury. Um, I think assuming that we're on a build that is playing, because because push and bolt are both cards that deal with turn one grief. Yeah. Um, if you can draw those cards and have a fetch land for the for the fatal push, you can deal with it. Um, you're still in top deck mode, but your opponent has had to discard a card and use their. There's a thought he's relevant. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna. That's fantastic. That a, wow. Uh, do you it's take a, Do you take red card here? Oh, I guess he did take right there. Never mind. So, so I think. Yeah, you have taking, to take terminate, terminate because makes perfect he sense. has to pitch. Um, because now, if if Christian top decks a land, he can play. Um, Dothy. Dothy, or not Dothy, Fable of the Fable of the Mirror Breaker. If he doesn't, he's forced to discard Fable of the Mirror Breaker to deal with the four four double strike. That was actually a very good draw because he hit Dothy, seeing. was able to get rid of the yeah. um, uh, his opponent fury, his opponent his and opponent's to take it fury. back. Yeah. And may be able to cast it back. So we're going to see Dash Ragavan here. Um, it will connect because Dothy Voidwalker has shadow and can't block. Correct. Um, can only block creatures with shadow and only creatures, or can only be blocked by creatures with shadow. Yeah, um, unblockable. So we're not dead see, after all. Mm, not a removal spell. Was that a Dash Ragavan? That was a Dash Ragavan. Mm, relevant. So that's um, going to, we're going to move to the end step here. So which, player, which player was on the draw of this game? Uh, Chris. Okay. So there's a good chance that Dothy Voidwalker is going to cast Fury here. Absolutely, just to get Looks this like big beater into play. Yep, yep. Um, Thankfully, the dashed Ragavan is going to avoid um, being killed by the Fury, but it can no longer get in. Um, we'll see. <laughs> All right, Chris with two lands and treasure. Just going to cast Ragavan. Dash Ragavan Bolt would be brilliant. No, I guess not. No, the dash isn't going to get in. Fury just blocks. Absolutely. So Fury will come in here. I assume Chris doesn't block. Chris does block. Okay. He may have some other plans. He may have something mm -hmm. else in play. Uh, this Castle Lockhorn, <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely. It allows, uh, allows Christian to uh, continue filling his hand and try and... Mm -hmm. uh, crawl out of this. Here's Dothy a Dothy. Go. Gonna lose a life and draw a card. Untap, draw a second card. In for six. This Fury's coming in for six. Can't be blocked. Now, we may see a bolt. Because not dead after all does not. All right, he's gonna yeah, take I think, six. I think we're seven. unlikely to see the removal spell here, just because, you know, we you want you want to cast already. those things. Uh, yeah, yep. Um, I mean, a bit less relevant with the ley line on the field, but you want to cast those things while your opponent is tapped out, so that they can't use their scam effect. Absolutely. They can't use their not dead. Now, um, for the record, it, it wouldn't be relevant because no, because because avoid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, pitch Here's cast, a grief. grief, exiling a useless Leyline of the Void. A3. What do we have here? Colgan's command? I hope so. <laughs> Love that card. Yeah. Yes. I told you. Two in the main. <laughs> All right. So, I think now, that's going to be deal be. two, discard. All right. Deal two to Dothy. So that last discard card, card is out of Chris's hand. It's and a thought seize. we have a grief trigger. Grief is going to take snag. the not dead after all. It is roll. useless due to the ley line, like we said. All right. Um, here's an untap. All right, so Chris needs to Down find an to answer one. on the top of the deck. If there is land, Maybe if this is if here? this is not yep, so that's there a handshake. All right. Well, that was a 24 minute round. 